Hi there. Today I want to tell you how your body might be craving drama, arguments, negative emotions, and conflict, to put quite simply. Um, I'm going to tell you about it because it's something I discovered recently and that's been happening to me for a while. And this might sound crazy because I'm actually someone who is a life coach and therapist, therapist but trust me, um, we are not immune from uh, the spike and increases of adrenaline and cortisol. We are only humans, so uh, all the negative emotions um, is something we experience as well and need to learn how to deal with it. So as you probably know by now, you experience um, different range of emotions um, from positive to negative to generalize it. Um, you might be experiencing sadness, sorrow, anxiety, um, excitement, happiness, joy, or hopefulness. And depending on the situation and event, um, that cer certain situation or event might be affecting you in a certain way, right? And sometimes there comes um, another person into play too and how they treat you and they how they behave um, towards you. And this may cause you to feel in a certain way. And all of these experiences get stored in your subconscious mind um, and, um, and are remembered by your body. And uh, every time certain situation happens, um, there will be a hormone that is produced in your body. For example, if you're in a risk situation, um, you might experience a rush of adrenaline. Um, when you are scared, um, uh, you might be experiencing cortisol too. Um, if you are in love or happy, you will be experiencing oxytocin and so on. And this too, your body remembers. And what happens next is pretty insane, actually, because your body then gets used to certain hormone and is craving for that hormone to be delivered to your body on regular basis. And when and that it doesn't matter if it's a good situation or a bad situation, your body just craves a hormone that it used to get on a regular basis. So more the more often the situation happens, for example, a fight with a boyfriend, um, the more regular delivery of the hormone cortisol and adrenaline to your body and your mind. And the more regular you do that, the more often or uh, frequent your body will remind you, come on, give me that hormone. I need that hormone. So what you then might be doing is you are going to be um, looking for situations to argue with your boyfriend over pretty much nothing. And this has happened to me before. Uh, I was arguing with my husband. I was looking for a problem where there was no problem. And I, of course, you know, I, I this didn't happen every day or um, it didn't happen every week. But when there was a period of time where I didn't have any drama, so-called, in my life, um, the adrenaline and cortisol wasn't produced. So, so though... So those of you who are regularly watching and observing your bodies or know your body and the feelings that arise inside it will know that, um, will notice when there is a feeling of uncomfortable feeling in your chest, there might be tightness in your chest, there might be difficulty breathing or a faster heartbeat, there might be lightheadedness, there might be headache. Um, so if you um, pay attention to how you feel, you will notice those feelings in those 
situations, right? And then if you um, do something that's called self-observation or self-reflection, which is highly recommended by all psychologists, life coaches, and therapists, um, you will notice that certain feelings might happen to you in certain situations with certain people and looking for a pattern there makes a lot of sense, trust me. So I've noticed that um, every time I was on the phone with my mom, I very often ended up very angry at the end of a phone call, okay? So I'm not gonna go into details, what was discussed and so on, but it happened to be my mom whom I dearly love and I really get on with her but because I love her and I get on with her and I feel safe around her or in her company, I often discussed with her topics that were close to my heart, but things like things that weren't going well in my life, for example, things I wanted to improve, things I wasn't happy about. I, dis I would discuss that only with my mom, pretty much. And every time I would leave the phone, I would feel like I can't breathe. I have tightness in my chest. I have rapid heart rate. I And that feeling stayed inside me for hours. I couldn't get rid of it. I felt like something was wrong with me. I felt really bad afterwards that I actually felt like a fool that I managed to make myself feel like that, then I realized, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Like, there's got to be a way around it. But what I didn't know was that at that point where I was complaining with, to my mom about someone, or I was discussing unpleasant things, my body was producing adrenaline and cortisol. And my body, quite frankly, got hooked on those hormones. And it got hooked on it for years, for good four years. And um, I've only realized that recently, pretty much, which just, I mean, me being aware of, of all these processes in other people and me helping other people, you know, um, um, transform these unhealthy behaviors I wasn't, I was so busy in my personal life. I wasn't actually paying attention to um, the fact that it might be a habit, not just a negative habit that I need to change, but also it might be the fact that my body is addicted to this drama. And I'm being very open and transparent uh, with you today because I want to help you uh, realize that you might be going through something like that. So if you have situations, and we all have those situations where we argue with our partners, where um, we want to run away, but we can't. And then there might be situation or a period where everything's going well with our partner. And then suddenly we might be having going for a walk with them and we might be starting to argue with them over nothing. And they might be saying to you um, or us, what's wrong with you? I've done nothing wrong. I didn't say anything wrong. Why are you so angry? Why are you picking up a fight? Well, let me tell you, there's a good chance you're picking up a fight because your body is addicted to adrenaline and cortisol, and is so hooked on it, it's looking for situations to start a fight. So you can give it that regular intake, that, that same level of cortisol of, and adrenaline as you were giving it for months. And the more we argued in the past with someone, the more we had negative situations in our life, and we didn't explore the emotions in our body we didn't stop and think what's happening to my body what's my body trying to tell me my body's feeling really unwell maybe it's because there is a conflict how can I stop that if there is a regular conflict with someone very close to you it may be very difficult to stop it but you can it's possible 
you need the first step is that you need to listen to your body. You need to tune into your body and notice the feelings inside it because there's a message behind that. Our body is our feedback system. It tells us when something is wrong. We need to trust it. So whether it's a shortness of breath, tightness in your chest, you, being lightheaded, headaches, head spinning, feeling weak, weak in your on your knees, you can't stand or walk, or you know, whatever feeling of unease you are experiencing, if you're experiencing it on a regular basis with the same person, there's a good chance you got yourself completely subconsciously and without realizing hooked on cortisol. And the way to change this is you develop new healthy habits. So you pe by paying attention to the feelings in your body, you will know when you start feeling unwell and you will know that's the time to stop that conversation. That's the time to not go any further that's the time to stop explaining or analyzing again the negative situation that happened in the past, that you have no influence on changing now, but revisiting a negative event will give you the spike of cortisol again. So you need to listen to your body and make a conscious decision when to stop discussing something with someone like I did. And trust me, I feel completely different. My body is anxiety free. I can breathe. And better still, now when I'm speaking to my mom and I want to discuss something unpleasant, I just want, I either make it matter of fact and try not to get emotional or I'm asking her for advice and a solution instead of mindlessly reanalyzing the behavior of another person. Um, so... I'm discussing this with you today because there is a good chance you might be in a relationship or a marriage and there might be regular conflict in your life. If that is the case, um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it was, please do subscribe or give us a like. If you're looking for additional resources, you can find them on our website virtuallyunbreakable.co. I hope you take a good care of yourself this weekend and have an amazing weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.